We're moving on to exercises 7 and 8 in the first book of Practical Studies by Gerald Bordner. This is the point in the book where Mr. Bordner adds the extra complexity of dynamics, or louds and softs. We call them in music dynamics. What you'll see in letters from the alphabet underneath the music are things like the letter P, which stands for the Italian word piano, which means softly. MF, which stands for the Italian word mezzo forte, or medium loud. And F, which stands for forte, which is quite loud. Remembering that whenever we're playing loud on the trombone, we are still making music and trying to play beautifully with a lovely tone. So let's not get brash with our loud playing, trying to squeeze out the loudest possible sounds we can. We're not trying to, I don't know, smash the windows or blow the, blow the walls down or anything like that. We're trying to make noble forte sounds and we want them to be in control. So let's never get too strident with our tone when we're playing loudly. <clears throat> in number seven, you'll also see some terms uh, with some dots after them, C-R-E-S-C -E is short for the word crescendo, which means to gradually get louder in Italian. And D-I-M is short for diminuendo, which means to gradually get softer. By number eight, instead of using these terms crescendo and diminuendo in words, as Mr. Bordner has done in number seven, he actually uses things that look like that or that under the music. And basically that's just a visual representation of exactly the same thing. This one here would be going from soft, the smallest point, to loud, the biggest point. So that would be a crescendo. And this one from the biggest point, loud, gradually getting to the smallest point, soft. That would be a gradual diminuendo. So let's get started. Of course, I'll give you a tuning note, as I always do. Here is a B-flat at the top of the bass clef stave. in. Hold on just one second though before we start. One thing you will notice in terms of how quickly you use your air, it's all going to change considerably when we're not just playing at the same level or the same dynamic. When we're starting to change dynamics, all of a sudden we'll be using our air more quickly or more slowly, which is going to affect the places that we breathe. Still try to breathe in musically appropriate places relative to the music in front of you, but of course, you might have to make some pretty quick decisions so that you can continue to play. If the music is getting louder, you'll be using air fairly quickly, and if the music is softer, you'll be using air a little bit more slowly. Try to take all of that in consideration. That's part of the challenge of playing dynamics. That's why Mr. Bordner has them in the book here. So here we go. Here's exercise seven with two measures in for nothing.
Don't forget to empty out your slime. Two measures in, as always. Bye. <laughs>